All right, continue on with pH and pOH in chapter 6.2. We last left off with a pH scale. And the pH scale is the way that we are going to communicate roughly and specifically the amount of hydronium in a solution that makes it acidic or basic. Remember, lots of hydronium equals acidic, very little hydronium equals basic, and equal parts of hydronium and hydroxide equal neutral. So the pH scale is a way of simplifying the very small and scientific notation requirements for hydronium ion concentration. pH is the logarithmic number for these exponential scales. Um, this is really quick and dirty and there's definitely much more going on to it when you get to it in Math 30, but pH numbers or logarithms are essentially the opposite of exponential values which we would see for the small concentrations of ions here. This is not too dissimilar from addition being opposite to subtraction or division being opposite to multiplication. So when we talk about a logarithmic value of, for example, 1, what we're actually really doing here is just exp exp blah, blah, showing the exponential value for the hydronium ion concentration. You might notice that a pH of exactly 1 relates to a concentration of 10 to the negative 1. Take a look at something that is exactly a pH of 7. All right, that relates to the exponential value of 10 to the negative 7. So really, we're just exp uh, exposing where the decimal point would be. All right, 1 times 10 to the negative 7 would be a very small value, something like this. I'm going to do 1 times 10 to the negative 7. That would be something like 0 0.0000001. And then we would have kind of moved your decimal place all the way over there with this tiny, tiny exponent. However, for a pH of 1 relating to a decimal place of 10 to the negative 1, well, 1 times 10 to the negative 1 is really just 0 0.1, and you would just have to move that one space. So remember what scientific notation is for. It's a way of communicating very big and very small numbers. With respect to pH and hydronium, it is a way of communicating very small numbers. The acidic and the basic interpretations are still the same as you learned way back in junior high. All right, low pH numbers or ones that are less than seven deal with our acids. So you can see battery acid like sulfuric acid or stomach acid like HCl, vinegar like acetic acid or the phosphoric acid in your uh, pops. Typical rain is slightly acidic. These are all examples of things with a low pH. Things with a high pH tend to be basic, so there's sodium hydroxide or ammonia solutions. Uh, right? Your antacid to neutralize too much stomach acid or seawater or blood are all slightly basic. All right, so we see those as high pH numbers. Okay, just remember and look back at this diagram often. pH is a way of communicating large amounts of hydronium or very small amounts of hydronium in a solution. So, we can use a couple of different formulas in order to be able to move back and forth between pH and hydronium. Remember, pH is the easy numerical way of describing acidity or basicity, but hydronium is the stuff that we need because that's the mole per liter concentration. So we do have to move back and forth between a couple of these formulas. Now again, this is a bit of a pain in the butt for us because pH being a logarithmic value, we have to be able to at least use the log formula. This is normally something that wouldn't be presented until Math 30, but I think we can handle the simple movements between logs and exponents needed for pH and hydronium. All right, the pH number, the number that we will get for acidity or basicity, is equal to the negative log of the hydronium ion concentration. Now on your calculator, this is a new button for us. All right, as we take a look at it here, you will see next to the 7, the log button right there. All right, that's the button you have to press whenever you see log in the formula. Square brackets, remember, from chapter 5 means concentration in moles per liter, so you would put that in. Most of these will be very small concentrations, so you'll have to use scientific notation. 
What's important to remember here is that the negative must go in there. All right, for reasons that will be explained in Math 30, they will talk about that there. For your hydronium ion concentration moles per liter, well, that can be found as base 10 raised to the exponent of the negative pH. Again, the negative is important. It does have to go in there. And then you just put in the pH number. How do I do exponents again? There's a couple of different ways on your calculator that you can do it. All right. Since everything we're going to be doing is base 10, you can use the second function log. See the little 10 raised to the power of x? You can use that button. Or if you want, you can just use that little hat button that you've learned in your math classes as a way of placing exponents. Okay, I'll show you both in the examples. A couple of things to remember, there are significant digits here. Now, as you saw earlier, these numbers here were really just describing the exponents. As we learned in Science 10 and we reviewed in the uh, Chem 10 review, these numbers, these exponents, are not significant digits. All they do is tell us where the decimal place is. So, one thing that is a little bit tricky in science is realizing that for logarithmic values, numbers to the left of the decimal place are telling you where the decimal place is. So, they are not significant. In other words, only numbers to the right of the decimal when you get your answer are significant. Okay, and I'll show you what that looks like in the examples again. The other thing about uh, exponential and logarithmic scales is that every time you change the number, you're changing things by a factor of 10. All right, we can look at that again on this scale here. Okay, to go from a pH of 1 to a pH of 2 is a change by a factor of 10. You are decreasing the amount of hydronium by 10 times to switch to 1 to 2. You can see that more easily when you take a look at the exponents. If 10 to the negative 1 is 0.1, and I switch to 10 to the negative 2, that's 0 0.01, you had to divide by 10 times, or divide by 10. So, each change in your logarithmic scale is a factor of 10 change. To go from 1 to 4 here, all right, would be a factor of 10 change three times. 10 times 10 times 10, or a factor change of 1,000. In which direction is this for hydronium? Well, take a look at it down here. All right, if I start at 10 to the 1, which is fairly concentrated, and I go to 10 to the negative 4, that's not very concentrated, then I'm decreasing by 10 times times 10 times 10 times times 10 times, or I've decreased my hydronium ion concentration by 1,000 times. So, logarithmic or exponential scales, a pH change of 1 is equal to a 10 times increase or decrease. You'll have to see which way you're changing it. A pH change of 2 is equal to a 10 times 10 increase or decrease or 100 times when it's more simplified. So please remember that this is all base 10 and exponential. All right, let's get through two quick examples here. You've got the formulas on the page in front of you. We want to determine the pH of a solution that has a hydronium ion concentration of 2.5 times 10 to the negative 4 molar, which means moles per liter. So you go back to your formula. Which one is for pH if you're given concentration? This one or this one. All right, good for you. You picked up that it was pH is equal to the negative log of hydronium ion concentration. So we go down here and we write that formula. pH is equal to the negative log of the mole per liter, whoops, hydronium ion concentration. Now you've got the hydronium ion concentration here. So this is the negative log of 2.50 times 10 to the negative 4 moles per liter. We'll punch that into our calculator, and I'll do that one with you guys here. Okay, so we need to enter this. So for that then, it is negative, the negative button at the bottom of the calculator, the log button, so it looks exactly like what we see on our page, 
and then it'll open up some brackets where we put in this concentration. This is scientific notation. Remember these TI calculators work a little bit different. So to put that in, you have to put in the coefficient of 2.50. And then we don't write the multiplication or the 10. That is for handwritten. These calculators use the second function comma button or that little E symbol to represent scientific notation. I know, I know, I know. I've written many letters of complaints to TI and it took them 35 years to finally change uh, how this is written or shown on your calculators. If you have a new TI, it will actually put in the times 10 for you right here whenever you hit that second function EE button. Last thing is to put in the negative 4 exponent, close your brackets, hit enter. Okay, and we can see that we get 3.60205 as a pH number. Well, we just have to finish that off with sig digs. So what would be the corrected answer? Well, remember, we said that numbers to the right of the decimal place are the only significant digits. This is regular notation, where everything in front of the, uh, in scientific notation, in front of the time symbol, is significant. 2.50 is three digits. That's something you already know. Please don't let this confuse you. So that means I need three significant digits in this value. We have said that anything in front of the decimal is not significant in pH numbers only. Therefore, it is 602 back here that are the three digits, and the zero would round down. So 3.602 is your final answer. Okay, we'll continue on with some of these other examples here uh, as we get into the next video. And yeah, that's pH. Keep practicing, guys.